Hey everyone, welcome back to Allie's Vintage Camera Alley. I'm Allie and today I'm going to be doing something a little different than my usual how-to style videos. Today I want to showcase three fun cameras from my collection. Uh, they are the Polaroid SX70, the Polaroid Land Camera Time Zero One Step, and the Polaroid One Step Close-Up. I've also purchased some film from Polaroid Originals that I'm going to try and I'm going to have to load and test these three cameras because I won't know if they work until I put the film inside because the battery is located in the film itself. So let's get started. So first up, we've got the SX70. This model has seen a resurgence in popularity in the past few years and we're going to load this camera with some color SX70 film that I got from Polaroid Originals and this is just the color film. It comes with eight instant photos. This camera was sold from 1972 to 1981 and it's called a land camera and that's because it was made by Polaroid founder Edwin Land. Take a picture it lasts longer. Every uh, film has a message on it. So let's see. So we push down this button here You have to kind of push to break that label there. And there we go. It spit out the dark slide, so that's a good sign. Also, I wanted to point out, inside the box, they have tips on how to make good photos with the, the Polaroid film. And um, some of the tips they tell you to do is to keep the film in the refrigerator. Um, it's very uh, temperature sensitive. The photo may appear blank at first and will be sensitive to light and movement as it's developing. So they should be shielded from light for the first six minutes and don't shake it. So next let's test the time zero one step that I have. This camera is from my mom. She got it from a thrift shop when I was a little girl in the 90s. Um, it's the first camera I ever used so it's special to me and I'm really eager to learn if it works. So this camera is also known as the black rainbow obviously because it's black and has the rainbow stripe. Um, this one doesn't fold up like the SX70. It was produced in 1981 and it's a box type camera. It's called a Time Zero because it was made to develop much faster than previous models. So hopefully we can test that out. So let's see. This one says, wish you were here. So in order to load this one, we push this forward and it opens right up. Push that in. And fingers crossed. So my camera from my childhood is working and I'm very excited to test this one out. Next up we've got the Polaroid One Step Close-Up Camera. Um, now this is a 600 series film camera. Um, this one I got from my Uncle Barney. He goes to flea markets a lot and he'll send me a box of old cameras from time to time to clean up and put in my collection. So um, he recently sent me a box of cameras and this was in it. For this camera I'm going to load it with the 600 film. This camera was released in the 1990s. Keep your friends close and your Polaroid Originals film in the fridge. So that's advice from Polaroid Originals. It's on the side. It comes open. Push it in there to break that thing. And fingers crossed. There we go. When this light comes on, that means it's charged. There it goes. So the film worked. The camera works. The flash is charged. And we successfully loaded all three cameras. And okay. Now let's test them out and go shoot some film. So the time zero one step. Got the shutter. You got the exposure dial here. Inside they call it the electric eye. That's the sensor. Um, make it lighter or make it darker or keep it on normal. Um, the lens. And here is where you would put the flash bar. And that's about it, so let's go shoot with it.
This is the SX70. Mine doesn't open as good as everybody else's seems to, but <laughs> this is the shutter button, the sensor, the exposure dial. This is to focus the rangefinder. The rangefinder is in there. It's a split image. Uh, the bellows that you want to make sure that they're in good shape when you buy it. And the flash bar would go here. And that's it. Let's go shoot with it. Let's find some stuff in my backyard to take a picture of. I like this vine. I'm always taking pictures of this tree. This is this tree I think is my muse. <laughs> All right, so this is the Polaroid one-step close-up. Um, the what makes this close-up is the switch that switches over the lens to a close-up lens. It's just a piece of plastic magnifying the lens. And then here's the exposure. You can make it lighter, make it darker, or keep it in the middle for normal. This is the flash, and this light in the back tells you that the flash is charged and ready to go. So let's go take pictures with it. Okay, so it's pretty sunny out here, so I'm going to change. I'm going to darken it a little. Hopefully that's right. So I'm going to try the close-up lens with this guy down here. There we go. You have to use this shutter here when you don't want to use the flash. And try to get the tree. And I don't have the close-up lens on this time, I have the regular lens. So again, it sensed that it didn't need the flash, so again I had to use that secondary shutter. So I'm going to switch over to the close-up lens. I'm going to try a darker area to see if the flash will work. Alright guys, well that was fun. I couldn't do a lot of shots because my legs are hurting pretty bad. Uh, neuropathy in my legs from complications from medication. If you want to know more about that and um, see some more of my photography, my, the link to my blog is down in the description. Um, and my takeaways for these three cameras is that definitely the SX70, no surprise, is the best one. Um, and which is funny because it's the oldest one the oldest model out of the three and you would think that it would be the Polaroid close-up would be the best one because it should be the most improved uh, it just takes way better pictures in my opinion as for the time zero one step obviously that has a lot of nostalgic value for me so I'm kind of biased but um, it really isn't the greatest Polaroid camera it's pr made pretty cheaply and um, for mine the the shutter button kept sticking and getting stuck so it's stuck right now um, which ruined almost all of my pictures. Um, it would spit the pictures out way later after I... It's getting stuck. It's not doing it right away. So, um, if you guys know how to fix it, please let me know. That would really help. I would love to fix this camera so I can use it regularly. Yeah, I did get two pictures out of it. and They weren't that great, but hey, they do look like the pictures I took when I was five all those years ago. So, um, so that's fun. And then the Polaroid close-up, it was pretty good. It, um, I like the flash feature and how, uh, you know, the built-in flash. I don't have to add any bulbs or anything. Although I really don't see any difference in the regular lens and the close-up lens. Like I said before, it was uh, it's just a piece of plastic that goes in front of the regular lens. Um, but, you know, and this is my first time using all three cameras or using a Polaroid camera at all since I was a kid. So the pictures aren't that great. I've seen way better on some of the videos on YouTube. So uh, please be kind. I also wanted to show you guys something I do, uh, a reason to keep your cartridge when it's done, when all the pictures are done. Um, the battery is in there, and uh, what you can do is keep this with you. 
if you're like in shopping around at thrift stores and you just so happen to see a Polaroid camera that you might want to buy, um, it's good to have one of these with you. And um, you could put put a picture in there that you don't really care about. Move the lip up. Push this back. And if the battery inside is still working, which it should be because this is a new a new cartridge. So you put the picture back in there. And um, so you say you get a camera at a thrift shop or something, and you uh, or a garage sale, and you have this with you. You say, hey, can I test this out, see if it works, and put it in there. And there you go. And then you would know the motor works, and it's a good to go. You can buy it. But um, another thing you could do with it that I've seen people do before is, um, again, if you have a picture you like, um, take it and insert it back in there upside down behind you know push back the the middle put it in there and you've got a frame so uh... you could probably paint this another color if you wanted and um... you could probably even hang it on the wall because there's holes back here and it'd be like a 3d frame i just thought that was cool <laughs> as usual thank you for tuning in Thank you to all my subscribers. Please give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so because I have a lot of ideas for more videos to come. Um, I have a very large collection of vintage cameras that I'm going to be uh, reviewing and I'm going to be shooting so, with. If you would like to see that, please subscribe and share my page with your friends. And I'll see you on the next video. And insert the film. Or not. They have uh, tips on how to make some fo how to make photos with the camera, with the film. How on how to make pics. <laughs> this is the SX70. To open it, <laughs> let's try that. Don't like that. This is the SX70. To open it. This is the SX70. <laughs> Fine, storm off of the set, these models.